Do we need men? Does the world need men? These were the big and complicated questions the women on The View were struggling to answer. Go yeah, yeah. A few weeks ago, so that ABC show, The View, was trending for their view. <laughs> Got it. We're sorry. Got it. On gender roles and just the overall importance that both men and women play to a functional, a decent, respectable society. At the very least, a society where Russia and China aren't over there just laughing at us. God damn it. Here's the view. So there's this clip going viral online of a dozen women being asked the following question. Do we need men? Who's Nick Cannon? Daddy, <laughs> Nick Cannon is hilarious. Most answered very quickly, no. <laughs> and only one said she thought women needed a man in their lives. Only one. Uh, Coach Rivers, the only way Lauren could make money off me was to dress me up like this and trick you into signing me. But when men were asked a similar question, do we need women, most of them <laughs> said yes. <laughs> okay, the clip they're referencing is a viral TikTok video by Australian TikTok and Teo Richie. Do we need men? Oh, do we need men? No. Do we need men? Um, no. No? We don't need short men. God damn it. Do you need a man? No. Do need a man? Oh, God. Do you need a man? No. Do we need men? No. Why? No. Do we need men? No. No? Do we need men? We need men to make us stupid. I am the one, the way you... Do we need men? No. Do women need men in this world? Do we need men? No. Why? Because we can be strong independent women. Do we need men? Like, not necessarily, but like, if I can look at them. Like, we need a man to look at. <laughs> Do we need men? No. no. Why? Nobody needs men. Really? We do not. What's that? Why, why would I need men? So what, do, what, what can you get from someone else that you don't get from a man? The only thing I can get from a man that I can't get anywhere else, anywhere else is this. Okay. And I don't need men. You're doing great. Do we need women. Yes! We do. Why? These women are awesome. Do we need women? Of course. Why? Yeah, you do need women. They're beautiful. Do, do we need women? Women make us feel compassionate and affectionate. Do we need women? Of course we do. Do we need women? Yes. Why? Because they're hot. And what else? They're hot. Do we need women? I mean, shit. Unless they're gay. It's funny, that last guy was like a ribbon on a Christmas gift to tightly wrap it up before you throw it in the pile of shit. I think he was half joking, but it's also the same reaction from most men if another guy said they don't need women. What stands out the most to me is that every single, single- I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Huh? You think you can do this shit? Women said they don't need men. And every single guy says women are needed. What does that say about the times right now? Yeah, listen. We fucked up. Back to the ladies on the panel. So why do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love it. And by the way, I wanna I wanna differentiate between straight men and gay CD men. City boy! City boy! City <laughs> <laughs> boy! I, I would die without gay men. Nobody can gossip like gay men. Nobody can help you accessorize like gay men. Nobody can help you uh, from keep you from doing harm to your to yourself, <laughs> no, what the fuck? Uh, like gay men. Huh? But with the exception of somebody like Steve, I think Steve is very self-sufficient. That's Joy's husband. But like he is. my he is. husband, it takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving, and living in his own filth. <laughs> he can, really? you know. Yeah. About, um, so she's married, and her description of her husband. My God, let me replay it for you because this is supposed to be her other half and this is how she chooses to represent this man on national television, completely unprovoked. Nobody asked her anything about her husband. My Dear. husband, it takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving and living in his own filth. Her man is probably a very nice and polite guy who takes everything in like a sponge, letting her say and do whatever she wants without challenging her whenever she says some dumb bullshit. What would I bring to the relationship? Their arguments probably consist of her screaming over him and him staying quiet as a defense mechanism. Him thinking to himself like, don't argue back and eventually she'll get tired and leave me alone. You know that happy wife, 
happy life shenanigans. No touching. That old school shit is for fishes. You end up here like this couple where neither of you are happy, where she walks all over you, and for exactly that, she doesn't respect you. That's the man she chose and belittles him like this publicly. God damn it. And maybe she chose wasn't the best choice of words. The man she had to settle for because with that attitude and mind state, her option pool wasn't very deep. She probably resents each and every single man on the planet for backing her up into the corner that she now calls her husband. Thanks! Just imagine if he, her man, was saying that about her publicly. You would never see that. That's his wife. And if they are still together, she represents him and vice versa. In a healthy relationship, they function as one unit. Any shade on her is shade on him. An easy but simple thing that most current women can't understand. Not all women. Those of you in healthy relationships, we love you for it and fight to hold on to it because believe me, nowadays you are by far the very small exception. You guys, no. well, you guys feel you guys are married I, to people I have that are a, more... I have Handy Manny at home. No. <laughs> he, is, he fixes everything. When things go bump in the night, he's the one that goes downstairs. When there's a bug <coughs> to be exterminated, he does the extermination. Nope. When there is something to be fixed, he fixes it. He throws out the trash Still and he no. throws out the recyclables. <laughs> I enjoy all the man stuff. So he my, does it that, my wait a second. <laughs> okay, much better. Definitely healthier home environment, right? I know what you're gonna say. That's okay. She's really talking about a servant, let's face it. Uh -huh. No. It's a handyman well, well, she's talking no, about. No, it's a handyman. Oh, it's a handyman with benefits. We do not have, well, but, but the things that you're describing, you could pay somebody to do that. We're not talking about that. What about the inner life of a man? That's what this is about. I need my man three to four times a week. And oh, <laughs> good for you guys. And then the rest of the time I need a wife. Because I've always said Everyone that- Everyone needs a wife. No, I tease Vicky, my producer in the morning. I was like, if you'd like to join Max and I, not in that way. <laughs> but like, Vicky and I could kill it as a household mm -hmm. runners. Like, yeah. we would be laughing, giggling, doing all the things. And Max would be so psyched I was wasting all my words somewhere else anyway. <laughs> so it would be a perfect combo. And, and the other day, Caleb said to me, this is my youngest son. He said, mama, I want to spare mom and I didn't know what he meant oh. and he's like he said Genevieve has a spare mom and I realized the parents were divorced a no oh. a, a divorced a, an extra a mom, mom like two moms oh. Oh. and so I asked him because at first I was a little wounded I was like what am I not doing you know and he's like no I just think at bedtime you always have to pay attention to the other kids too and if we had a spare mom you dad and you could you know then you just get a focus on me and it was yeah. so sweet he well, didn't ask for a spare dad by the way he asked yeah. for a spare mom. misery loves company <laughs> or should I restate it misery needs company and we'll drag it off a cliff kicking and screaming if it needs to. Really, just listen to what they're saying and look at the dynamics of what's at play. There's five women. Two of them have already chipped in with their opinion, the two oldest ones. And now one of them tries to pull back on the overall narrative by speaking on her life with her experiences and her spouse, how she loves and appreciates what he does for her, who, as I stated earlier, as her spouse and partner represents her. So if he shit, she is too because she chose him as her partner. Yep. But nope, that's where she fucked up. God forbid you say anything positive about the opposite sex in a panel of mostly old, bitter females. They didn't even get defensive. They skipped that shit. Instantly went on the attack, projecting all their thoughts and insecurities onto her. But what does that matter? No, that's not a good husband. That's just a servant. You could pay for those services. So don't be satisfied with your man. Demand more. So you can be angry and miserable with us. Sisterhood. I'm marking everything that's mine. Mine! Ladies, this type of behavior is called jealousy. Nothing more, nothing less. Even if you can't recognize it right away, when someone is telling you they're content and happy in their situation, then instead of saying, good for you, you go girl, you chose the right one. The first reaction is to try and find holes that don't exist to make you feel better about where you are. You are one sad and spiteful. You have nothing good to say when someone's telling you they are happy, then shut the fuck up. Don't expose yourself and make it easy for people to see exactly how nasty you are of a person inside your heart. Like that other woman that said she only needs her man three, four times a week. Pretty much calling him a piece of meat, dildo. Good for nothing. Talking about she wants a wife. Talk to your husband about that. Adding a second wife, his answer might surprise you. Challenge accepted. If this was a panel of men talking this nonsense, the ABC network would have canceled that show after one show. That's it. One. When it's all it would take and cancel. Cancel the show and every single individual associated. But these women are handled and treated like little kids. Act out all you want, scream your feelings at everybody, say whatever comes to mind, and if ever confronted, activate the secret weapon. Start crying. That'll get everybody on your side. No expectations, therefore, no accountability. Like I said, treat it like kids. 
I took this totally differently in how I prepped yeah. because broadly speaking, I feel like men have proven largely useless. Like I think in the political moment, the people who are Guys, don't hold saying back. what needs to be <laughs> said <laughs> in my party, it's all women, the very few men with the exception of Mike Pence and a few others are saying what they need to. Of course, Mike Pence, the embodiment of male masculinity. He's a true American hero. The figure all men around the world look up to when it comes to the big questions. But in life, like, I need my husband. I don't know if I need any other men, but he is irreplaceable. Yeah, Aww. yeah, I think so. But I that's mean, what I'm saying. We like our husbands. We just don't need men beyond that. I mean, yeah, wait, wait till you're married 20 years and you'll see how replaceable well, they are. The reason that women... I think that the reason women can stay married for as long as they do is because they have a lot of girlfriends. They have a village. They have girlfriends. Because I always have to initiate the conversations. He'll he'll step up, but I have I to thought you were start saying Excluding same-sex marriages, which accounts for less than 1% of all marriages in the good old U.S. Of a. All individual couples, men and women, stay married for the exact same amount of time. It takes two to tangle. And you know this, man! For the sake of making comparisons, in same-sex marriages, the divorce rate in female couples is almost twice that of their male counterparts. So, yeah, the data says even women can't stand other women. What did you just <laughs> say to me? Oh, I, don't, I, 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 ju I just I don't told know. you guys, I have eight girlfriends from Panama here who are oh. girlfriends for 50 years since they were in kindergarten. Oh, I love that. And it's that and and they were saying yesterday that they've gone through divorces, they've gone through challenges, and, and having that village of women has made it possible. Well, we for are them. more collaborative than men. I think yeah. there have been studies that say that women have much more, much closer friendship relationships than men do. That is false. Pure Bogota bullying. Again, I think have we have to make a, women... a, a, a differentiate gay men. No, gay men are, are in, their, our, in their own category. Our... To put my understanding hat on, I'm going to assume that because she thinks men don't like to talk about their feelings or whatever might have happened at work today. And that's true to an extent, but I'm not gonna let you say that because of that, women have stronger bonds and friendships. Man and woman are just different. It's not a negative thing, it's just we're different animals. That's a woman? Women meet up their girlfriends to do just one thing. And that's gossip about man, about each other, about the dog, the house, everything. I know you. You know you. And I know you know that I know you. We don't do that. When the boys meet up, it's about sports. To play it, to watch it, help build something, a treehouse, fix a car, go hunting, go fishing, and if there's something to hash out, bring out the whiskey bottle. What's happening? Everything good? Yes, daddy. Turn the grill on. Let's warm some ribs up while we drink. Yeah, but we're not married to gay men, okay? Oh. But I'm women, women have conversations about their feelings. Men talk about it's sports, cars, yeah. all that stuff. I don't know. My husband talks about his feelings with his Maybe he's gay. <laughs> and there you go. That's how women bully other women into submission, calling her man game. And you see, this is funny to us, man. We find this shit hilarious. We don't have no feelings about it or angry at the world. It's just factual that everything these ladies are spewing at us is feelings, feelings, more feelings. Nothing logical or productive about this conversation, not for men and especially not for women because they are the ones that are digesting this kind of nonsense. They eat that shit up in an echo chamber that reinforces these ridiculous ideas without any pushback or perspective. It's always all about me. me, me, me. Alright, I'm gonna stop this right here, but like always, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.